Pennsylvania has the second largest collection of private colleges and universities in the nation. These institutions are located in large cities, small towns, and rural communities throughout the Commonwealth. Pennsylvania's 94 independent colleges and universities are collectively the fourth largest employer in the Commonwealth. In 2008 through 2009, Pennsylvania's private colleges directly employed over 79,000 people. Collectively, these schools paid employees over $4.5 billion in salaries and wages. One example of a small college's impact on its community is Geneva College in Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. Geneva College is one of the largest employers in the region. There are about 420 people employed by the college on both a full-time and a part-time basis. From support services at Geneva College, which include our uh, food services, our maintenance folks, groundskeepers, to uh, the people who we have in the office and the faculty members. And there are a lot of employment opportunities here at Geneva, and of course, uh, we look at our surrounding community to fill a lot of those positions. The goods and services that independent colleges and universities need to serve their students also provide jobs to businesses and industries throughout the Commonwealth. Beaver Falls Coffee and Tea is a coffee shop situated across the street from the college. Geneva College is important to Beaver Falls Coffee and Tea Company because it provides us with a big chunk of our business and I think we and many things in the city wouldn't exist without the college. Geneva provides a lot of jobs to the community. I believe they're one of the top employers in the county. So providing a lot of jobs and it also provides business for shops like mine and others um, around the city and around the county. An example of an urban school is Point Park University in Pittsburgh. Point Park's ambitious new academic village project will bring jobs to the area and transform their downtown neighborhood. The Academic Village Initiative has academic as well as economic goals. Academically, it's going to add wonderful new residence halls, a new student and convocation center, as well as a beautiful multi-theater theater complex. From a community standpoint, it's going to help rebuild the infrastructure. According to a Pennsylvania Economy League study, the Academic Village Initiative, over the life of the construction of the project, is going to create 3,700 jobs and infuse $500 million into the regional economy. Jobs from independent colleges and universities funnel more than $100 million in state income tax revenue to the state's general fund. While I continue to believe that the greatest economic benefit of our private colleges and universities is as a developer of human capital for Pennsylvania's workforce, our private higher education sector continues to grow in importance as an industry, as an employer, and as an engine of prosperity in towns throughout the Commonwealth. For these private colleges and universities to thrive, however, we need our partners in state government to make sure that the FIA student grant program remains robust enough for students to select a private institution.